Rheumatoid arthritis of the hand. Rheumatoid arthritis involves the synovium of the joints. As you can see here, there is a swollen, inflamed synovial membrane. The condition of rheumatoid arthritis will eventually result in deformities. Rheumatoid arthritis occurs more in females than in males. There may be a hereditary component with rheumatoid arthritis. It also has spontaneous remissions and exacerbation, and the disease can have a systemic nature. Patients complain about pain and the stiffness of joints, especially in the morning, morning stiffness. Rheumatoid arthritis is typically polyarticular, bilateral, symmetrical, and most commonly affects hands and feet. This video explains rheumatoid arthritis with some emphasis on hand involvement. The x-rays will show periarticular erosions at the time of diagnosis. Osteopenia and minimal osteophyte formation favors the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. Pathogenesis Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. The disease has two important components, immunological reaction and increased degradative enzymes. The IgM rheumatoid factor is produced by the plasma cells as an antibody to the native IgG, which is altered in rheumatoid arthritis. 70% of patients with rheumatoid arthritis have rheumatoid factor positive. Leukocytes are attracted to the immune complex, forming deposits over the inflammatory surface of the synovium. These leukocytes ingest fibrin and the immune complex and is called the rheumatoid cells. The leukocytes release lysosomal enzymes that cause acute inflammatory response and tissue necrosis, as well as inflammatory mediators, IL-1, IL-6, and TNF-alpha. The chondrocytes respond to stimulation by TNF-alpha, IL-1, and the other inflammatory mediators, causing cells to become activated and secrete more metalloproteinases, which lead to cartridge damage. The synovium becomes hypertrophied, penis, showing intimal hyperplasia and the infiltration by plasma cells and lymphocytes. Here you can see the penis formation and the destruction of the cartilage. Rheumatoid arthritis manifestations in the hand. Stages of rheumatoid arthritis. Early, acute, hot, swollen, tender joints from synovitis. Here you can see swelling of the metacarbophalangeal joint and the flexor tenosynovitis. Complicated digital vasculitis ecchymosis, skin atrophy, and nodules. Advanced, swelling of the MCP joint, lateral slippage of extensor tendons and tendon ruptures, ulnar deviation of fingers. X-ray shows destruction of the metacarbophalangeal joints with subluxation, ulnar deviation, and wrist destruction. Under drift of the fingers. Finger deformities. Mallet, boitinier, and the swan neck. Here is an example of them. The thumb is also involved. These changes occur due to proliferation, inflammation, and hypertrophy of the synovium. Involvement of the distal radioulnar joint is usually associated with rupture of the extensor digiti minimi. Rheumatoid nodules. These are common sites for rheumatoid nodules. 
25% of patients with rheumatoid arthritis will have subcutaneous nodules on the extensor surface of the elbow and forearm. Nodules are often multiple, seen along the ulnar margin of the forearm or pulp of the digit. Vasculitis is more common in patients with subcutaneous nodules. It is a strongly seropositive disease, aggressive, with less than favorable prognosis. Treatment, synovitis, splint and medical treatment, joint space narrowing, bone erosion and osteopenia, docinovectomy, joint destruction, fixed deformity, loss of hand function, surgery based on condition. Before operating on rheumatoid arthritis patients, X-ray of the cervical spine is needed because the patient may have subluxation of C1 and C2. Metacarbophalangeal joint arthroplasty of the fingers usually results in decreased extensor lag and improvement of the ulnar drift. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.